Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the brand new Wayne Goss Weightless Veil Blush Palettes. I absolutely love them. This is a first impressions video. I just received them in the mail from Beautylish and Wayne Goss. So thank you so, so much to Wayne and Beautylish for sending these over to me to review for you guys. I was so excited when I got this package. I ripped open the boxes and took a look at all the palettes on my own and wow. I mean, I think they are definitely much more fantastic than any of the pictures that I've seen on Instagram. They are really, really beautiful. So what we're going to be doing in today's video is I'll give you some, you know, info on these uh, palettes. We are going to be doing some arm swatches. So I arm swatch all of them. I'll give you some close up shots of all of these palettes. And then what I did was I cheek swatched all of them as well. And on one cheek, and I'll have all of this on the screen, but on one cheek, I applied it the way I guess I normally would apply blush and highlight. I put the blush down and then I put the highlight down. And then on the other side, I put the highlight down first and then the blush over it. I watched Wayne Goss's video on these palettes, the reveal video on these palettes, and he mentioned how if you put the highlight down first and then the blush over it, you get a completely different effect because the blush um, kind of camouflages a little bit of the reflectiveness of the highlight. So the highlight is definitely dampened by the blush, but the highlight definitely peeks through the blush as well. So most of the blushes here are mattes. And so it just gives them a little bit of like a glow from within kind of effect. And if you guys know me, you guys know I love a blush with like a little bit of something. I'm not the biggest fan of a matte blush. So I just really liked that option. And I really liked that little pro tip from him because I think it makes all the difference. Like all these blushes now, and maybe some other blushes that I have, maybe some blushes that I have that are like on the matter side, maybe the a demi matte. I definitely want to put some highlighter down first and then the blush on top of it. It just, oh my God, it just makes such a difference. So you'll see that in the cheek swatches. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. And before we get into all the swatches or whatever, I just want to let you know that there are four different palettes. They are going to be releasing today on Beautylish exclusively at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So I will leave a link to it down below in my description box, but definitely follow me on Instagram. I will post like a story with a swipe up, letting you know like when it's actually live, but it will be 10 o'clock today. And these are made in Canada. They have a nine month uh, shelf life once it's been open and the net weight of the entire palette is 19 grams and 0.67 ounces. Let's go ahead and like jump into the swatches. What I'm going to do is show each uh, palette here a close-up of it. I'll show you some arm swatches and then I'll show you my cheek swatches and then we'll move on to the next color and then after that what I'll do is just kind of give you my thoughts on all of the palettes. Thank you. 
So those were all of the arm and cheek swatches. I hope you guys found that helpful. Um, something else I wanted to mention from Wayne's video is that he talks about how um, he thinks it's so important to test these products on the over 40 crew. And um, I just turned 47 last week. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that because I do think a lot of makeup is for the younger set. And I really, really appreciate that Wayne sort of designed all of these palettes for not only a range of skin tones and skin types, if you will, but also for like aging mature skin, because definitely a lot of makeup looks very, very different on older skin versus younger skin. We all know that. So anyway, really appreciate that about um, all of these palettes. So why don't I give you my thoughts on all of the different palettes. So let's go ahead and start with Coral Rose. This one is, when I look at all of these, this one is like the most fair skin friendly. It is, as you can tell, just very, very light. There's a peachy pinkiness to it. It is fairly neutral. It's not too orange. It's also not too blue toned. And this highlighter is like a very light champagne shade. So I think this is just great for you fair skin ladies out there. For someone like me who has light, light medium skin tone, I feel like this is a perfect, like just everyday blush and highlight duo. I don't feel like I have to be too careful with it. I can put it on a little bit heavy handed and it looks beautiful. I think this highlight blends into my skin tone beautifully. This one I can see definitely pulling out for the everyday when I'm not doing um, like a super glam look or anything too bold. This is definitely the palette that I'm gonna be reaching for. The other palette that I think is great for light to light medium skin tones and even fair skin for sure is this palette. This is the Blush Peony and this one is a little bit cooler in tone than the Coral Rose. I think even if you have a fair skin tone, light skin tone, if you prefer like a, a cooler kind of cheek, this is definitely the one for you. The highlight in here is like a duochrome. I'm sure you guys saw that in the swatch, but it has like this pinky shift to it. It's really, it's so, so beautiful. I'm not someone that loves like too much duochrome and you know, micro glitters and sparkliness on my cheeks. And this is such a subtle, Duochrome, it just looks so, so beautiful. It doesn't look too outlandish. Again, I feel like if Wayne had the more mature woman in mind, not that mature women wear <laughs> boring makeup, but I do feel like in general, my makeup is a little bit more subdued than someone um, who's a little bit younger than I am. And this is fun without being too much. And I just think it's really, really beautiful. This looked so beautiful underneath the blush. So that little pro tip that uh, Wayne gave us in his video about adding the highlighter underneath the blush, wow, it looks beautiful, beautiful with this combination. Again, if you're not someone who likes a duochrome cheek, it looks so, so beautiful underneath the blush because the blush kind of camouflages it a little bit, but the highlight really gives the blush this like glow. Oh, it's stunning. So that is the Blush Peony. And then as for the last two, I sat here thinking, oh, okay, these are probably, you know, best for deeper skin tones. But, you know, Wayne did such an amazing job with the shades of these blushes that I do think all of these palettes would work for the entire range of skin tones because like this one, for example, this one is bright poppy. This highlight is definitely, if I were to use as a traditional highlighter, you know, to like highlight the tops of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, something like that. It's definitely a little bit too deep for me. You can definitely see that in the pan. I'm sure you saw it uh, when I swatched it on my cheek. Okay, there was just a little bit of an accident. I just dropped this palette, so now I just dinged it. I'm so sad, but it didn't break or anything. And it, it really, that was quite a tumble anyway. <laughs> As for this one, this is the Bright Poppy. Um, I was talking about how this highlight is a little bit too deep for my uh, skin tone, but that pro tip that Wayne gave us about putting it underneath blush, this is so beautiful underneath this blush. So I can definitely use it in that way and it's great. And I think if you have basically any skin tone that will work for you, even if you have a fair skin tone, what you're doing is just mixing these two colors and it's just gorgeous. So that is the Bright Poppy. And this blush is maybe my favorite only because it's so unique. I just, I absolutely love it. You know, this is what I actually have on my cheeks. Obviously I used a pretty light hand with this, but it wasn't difficult to get the level of pigmentation I wanted. And all of these blushes, let me tell you, are very, very pigmented. And you probably saw when I cheek swatched a lot of these duos that I was a little bit heavy handed. I was a little bit surprised actually at how pigmented these blushes are. So when I got to this one, which is the last one I did, I definitely was very careful with how much pigment I picked up, but it was 
really easy to lay down just a little bit of this color and I just think it's so so beautiful and again this is the side that has like the blush and then the highlight on top and then this is the side with the highlight and then the blush on top do you see how it just it's like completely transformed and this is you know a little bit like I think what we're used to seeing we have the blush here we have the highlight on top but this is just oh my god I love this i love this effect it almost looks like you have like a glass skin cream blush on it's so beautiful so this one i love and again very obviously you can use this for deeper skin tones and this highlight is great for fair skin tones if you want to use it traditionally if you have a deeper skin tone you can use this under the blush and another thing wayne mentioned that i really appreciate is like the idea of customization you can really make it very blingy if you want by putting the blush down and then putting the highlight on top that'll make it you know really kind of shimmery and really reflective you can make it a little bit more subtle i could have added maybe a little bit more blush on top and it probably would have toned the highlight down a little bit i just really love the combos and what you can do with each combo and since i'm not a matte blush fan i really like the idea of that and i do want to mention that all of these blushes are matte or at least kind of have like a matte base to them but this bright poppy this one has like a little bit of i don't know it's kind of like a demi matte and then there's like little shimmers in there so this is the only one that isn't just like a straight up matte and again this is the bright poppy so there are a few other things that wayne mentioned in his video that i just wanted to just regurgitate <laughs> for you guys but he made these pans really big so that you can use especially the highlight you can use like on your body you can highlight your collarbone your down your shoulder you know whatever you want down the fronts of your legs and that is i don't know if that's why these palette um, sizes are so large but that is a good purpose for a large pan you know you can put like a very large brush in here very very easily i'm not someone that does a lot of body <laughs> I almost said body modification. That is totally the wrong term. You know, body makeup. I just don't put, I don't put any makeup on my body. So I won't be using it in that way, but that was an excellent point that he made that these pans are so big that you can use them for your body. The other thing that he mentioned that I didn't get a chance to do, but I will definitely play around with them is bringing the blush into your eyes for like eyeshadow. And I was doing a lot of that in the spring. I had purchased some of the new NARS blushes. I don't know if you guys remember, but I was loving that because a lot of times when I try and do that with bronzer, which is what I know a lot of people do to kind of make their look cohesive, I just feel like the bronzer ends up looking a little bit muddy in my eye area. Like, I don't know, something happens to the shade where I like it on my face, but I don't really like it in my eyes. So I like doing that with blush a lot. And I was so happy when he mentioned that because it just reminded me of what I had been doing in the spring. And I was like, oh, I really, really like that. And I hadn't been doing it lately. So I definitely wanna play around with that. I think that's such a great idea. And I know like in the warmer months, what I like to do is brush bronzer, not just where I would kind of like brontour, like contour or whatever, like under my cheekbones and around like the uh, perimeter of my face, but I'll brush it over my nose. I'll brush some on my chin just to kind of give me that sun-kissed look. And I do that a little bit less in the fall winter time and what i will do is actually do that with my blush a little bit more because i feel like in the winter i'm getting less sun but you know your your skin is like a little bit kissed by like the cooler weather and so you get that like red nose and you get that like just that like just come in from playing in the snow kind of look and so i definitely use blush a little bit more in the fall winter so i think the timing of these is really really great and then just a quick word about the formula the formula is it's very, very straightforward. I don't feel like a natural hairbrush would work better or a synthetic hairbrush would work better. I think either hair would work fine with these. These are like a pressed powder. So there's just, there's no like learning curve with these. I think they're just really, really easy to use. I think they're very beginner friendly. I think the pigmentation is like a little bit on the stronger side. So I definitely would use a light hand, especially if you have a lighter skin tone. I would, I would use like a lighter hand and build up slowly. But I think they're very, very smooth. And I've been finger swatching these quite a bit. There's no kind of like hard pan developing on the highlighter or anything like that. They just so far to me, they seem just really rock solid formulas, which I appreciate. The so. packaging is also really lovely. It is the same as his luxury eye palette. So it's the same 
exact size, um, same, you know, finish. It has this kind of like glossy black finish to it. Um, so I think that's really neat. Keeps the collection very, very sleek. And then I will have all of the details of the makeup that I am wearing down below in my description box. I did not put on any bronzer. I didn't put on any bronzer because I really wanted you guys to be able to see the blush all by itself, but I just wanted to point that out. But that's it. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments or anything down below in the comment section. And another big thank you to Beautylish and Wayne Goss for sending these over to me. I absolutely adore them. They are so beautiful. And a big congratulations to Wayne on another beautiful release. I just, I can't wait to see what's next, but these are absolutely stunning. So anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. And these...